So she texts back and she says, this isn't going to work for me. We have different approaches slash principles to dating and I'm not going to waste our time any further. And she blocked me. You just said you love coffee. Ask me on a coffee date. I'll give him one of three responses. Coffee dates and walks are way too platonic. Coffee <laughs> dates are fun for people who enjoy the idea of going on a coffee date. What's wrong with getting coffee? What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Abba and Preach, reacting to a guy being rejected, okay, for suggesting a coffee date. So let's jump right in. So my dating life is a joke. I can't even make this up anymore. Like I can't even, I can't even make this stuff up. I'm talking to this girl, we're texting for a little bit. It's going well. I say, hey, do you like coffee? She says, yeah, I love coffee. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, cool. We mesh on something. Do you want to get coffee sometime? I do that all the time too. So I try to find things I get in common with the other person and then let's go do that. That's why my first question is like, do you like it? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, cool. <laughs> Would you like to take a fucking sometime? <laughs> Now, for the record, coffee and drink dates are like the go-to first date things. It's the traditional ways to get to know a girl. I advised all my clients do first dates, either a coffee shop or a bar. Have a coffee or two or a drink or two. And that's all you need to stick to for your first date. So it's totally normal and it's totally you know, like the go-to move for going on dates. And I've been on thousands of dates. Okay, at the time of this recording, I've been with 1,842 different girls. I have over 21,000 phone numbers on my phone. I've been on thousands of dates. They mostly were for coffee or drinks, okay, except for the ones that came straight to the house. But it's not outrageous or weird or, or anything like that to be suggesting coffee. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 I mean, I mean, why would you? Well, it, well, why are you tripping? Does it work? Not, <laughs> does it work? Ninety percent of the time, it works. In the ten percent of the time that it works, so it doesn't. Cool. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So she texts back and she says, "This isn't going to work for me. We have different approaches slash principles to dating, and I'm not going to waste our time any further." And she blocked me. <laughs> you just said you love coffee. What's wrong with getting coffee? Yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with getting coffee. And that's exactly how you should do it. Do you like such and such? Yes. Cool. We should meet for such and such, right? You can do it for margaritas. You can do it for craft beers. You can do it for coffee. But it's not outrageous or weird or anything to be suggesting coffee for the first date. And what I found from my experience, it's like once in a blue moon, they have an issue with that. And those girls are typically a huge pain in the ass. And it's a big red flag that the girl has an issue with getting a coffee, right? If, if a girl thinks she's too good to go get a coffee, right? And she needs to be all pampered or taken out for dinner or something like that in order to accept a date, you usually wanna steer clear of those girls from my experience anyways, cause they're gonna be a huge pain in the ass or they're gold diggers or, or they have some other kind of issue. It's like, really that simple. Is a There's a difference between living coffee and living Easy coffee way. on a first date. Here, so I said coffee screams cheap, lunch is an interview, dinner is romance. No, and it doesn't need to be looked at like that. That's super dumb. A first date is just meant to get to know each other. It's a you know controlled environment where you guys are talking back and forth, flirting, etc. There's absolutely nothing wrong with getting a coffee date. I've done tons of them. My clients have done tons of them. And it's extremely rare that a girl's gonna have an issue with it. Like extremely, extremely rare. Uh -huh, that sounds good on a Hallmark card. Ask me on a coffee date, I'll give him one of three responses. For a blunt response, I'll tell him I already own a coffee machine. See, here's exactly what I'm talking about. Here's the type of girl that's like a red flag having an issue with it. For response, I'll tell him I only like to go coffee by myself or with my friends. And for a cheeky response, wouldn't you want our first date to be memorable? You want a woman to fantasize. She says, I have a coffee machine at the house. That's where you screen them out. Oh, great. Fuck you too, okay? You don't need to fucking deal with girls that are a huge pain in the ass. Oh, I only drink coffee alone. Good, fuck off. <laughs> we just got finished in the past week going through my whole system from a high level, okay? I've received a lot of good feedback from you guys. I know that you want to take the next step in a lot of cases, but you're not sure what to do. You can go book a free 30 minute call with the link in the description and someone from my team will go over all the options and pricing for all the ways we can help you and solve your dating problems permanently. We offer the industry leading solution 
evidenced by over 1,250 testimonials to permanently solve your dating problems. Okay, so get on one of those calls with the link in the description. Are you ready to break through and approach the girls you have always dreamed of being it's with? It's been an amazing experience. It's truly been life-changing. It's like a complete mindset shift. There's no replacement for being out in the field with John and with the coaches. I would 100% recommend this program. I can show you how it's done in a matter of days. Go check those out in the description and book an application call with me. Coming up with you and she's not going to be doing that on a coffee date. Coffee dates and walks are way too platonic. A date should be where you're having fun, you're connecting, and you're close in proximity. And you can sit close in proximity to the girl on a coffee date and you're still gonna be connecting and having fun. Again, I stand by the position that any girl that has a problem with a coffee date is not worth going on a date with, period. Sorry, man, you're right. You're right. What? Do you like, yo, a date has to be close in proximity. Uh, it cannot be platonic. I'm sorry, you're right. Yo, you like f***ing? Yeah, <laughs> okay, let's f You're right. Okay. It's gonna be memorable. <laughs> Whether it's good or bad, it's gonna be memorable. Boom, you're f***ing right. Shit, I don't know shit about about this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Hi, let, you let, let, teach let, me. Let her cook. Coffee dates and walks are way too platonic. A date should be where you're having fun, you're connecting, and you're close in proximity. So that that fantasy and allure and intrigue is there. Oh, this is why you should never accept a coffee date for a first date. <laughs> Perhaps it sounds convenient to you because you don't need to spend the whole evening with- She's filming this from Ikea, what's going on? <laughs> She's in a cubicle. Jesus Christ. She the stranger you may not like, but a guy who just invites you for coffee shows such low effort. It almost shows as if he's not interested in getting to- No, super dumb. Again, I've been on countless coffee dates that have gone very well. Okay, my clients have been on countless coffee dates. To the average viewer that's watching, they're like, oh my God, I, 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 can't, I can't ask a girl on a coffee date. It's, that's low effort. No, these girls are all just being bitchy and cunty. That's, and that's not misogynistic. Think about it. Anyone that has a problem with going out for a coffee and getting to know someone obviously has their own set of issues. Oh, you. As if he says, let that girl prove herself first before I'm willing to take her out for dinner. But let me tell you what this says about you. If you accept a coffee date, that actually shows that you accept the bare minimum. And that shows how you see yourself. Because if you... See, and she's like brainwashing women on the other side. Oh, girls, if you accept a coffee date, that shows that you accept the bare minimum and you have no standards. Yo, oh, do better, girls. It's like, no, no and no. It's a casual, relaxed environment to get to know someone. A date shouldn't be about how much money is the guy spending or how much planning did he go to. It's standard, and as I said, I've done it for the vast majority of my dates, to get a coffee or a drink. And 99% of girls are gonna be totally cool with that. The 1% that are like, oh, hey man, that's not good enough for me, or blah, blah, blah. Great. You screened yourself out. Go fucking bother someone else. Don't see yourself as being worthy of something more than just a coffee. How can he be convinced? The purpose of dating is to meet new people and maybe to meet a potential boyfriend while having fun. But a coffee date doesn't sound like fun. It sounds more like a job. Okay, I'll go. I mean, it's not fun if you just don't know how to have interesting conversations. Um, okay, here, 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 here's what it comes down to. Coffee <laughs> dates are fun for people who enjoy the idea of going on a coffee date. For some people, it's perfectly acceptable. Sitting down with somebody, there's a lot of pros to it, not too intense. At the end of the day, if it's not going well, especially when you're meeting someone that you don't know well at all, then you can just leave without too much strings attached. Also, you know, it's not a dinner, so he's not paying for a lot, so you don't have to worry about him feeling entitled after the fact. There's a lot of reasons to like coffee dates. Um, and there's a lot of reasons to like dinner, too. I mean, yeah, so the guy's probably going to be paying for your meal. I would like that, too, if I was a lady, okay? Free food, shit. Sign me up, bitch. Uh, but <laughs> I think there's also a lot of reasons why women don't feel very comfortable when they're meeting someone that they don't feel comfortable with on a dinner date. It can feel a bit more intense. And you can't just walk away from a dinner the same way you could probably just leave a coffee date a lot earlier, right? So there's pros and cons to both. I just don't know why people have to always make this aspersion that people who accept coffee dates have low self-esteem or accept the bare minimum or don't value themselves. You can value yourself in- That's total bullshit, as I said. 
total, total bullshit. And it's just fucking annoying girls being annoying and screening themselves out. Like, as I said, the vast, vast, vast majority of girls are going to be cool with that. Look at it for what it is. It's an opportunity to sit and get to know someone in an in a environment that's relaxed and comfortable. Okay, it can be a bar. It can be a coffee shop. You don't have to go to elaborate lengths on the first date. There's no reason to go invest a bunch of time and energy and all this shit with a complete stranger that you don't even know. That doesn't mean you're doing the bare minimum. You're just putting yourself in a, in a low-key, cool, casual, comfortable environment. And most girls are going to be fine with it as they should be. The ones that recoil on stuff, I, I've, trust me, I've experienced thousands and thousands and thousands of girls. They usually have their own set of issues and their own set of problems. And, and they're all up on their high horse thinking they're too cool for everyone and, and too good for everyone. I can teach you exactly how to run and close your dates, by the way, so that you can routinely bring girls home from coffee dates or drink dates and get the hookup or enter into a romantic or sexual relationship. You can go to the link in the description to find out more or go to PlatinumDatingSystem.com. Are you ready to break through and approach the girls you have always dreamed of being it's with? It's been an amazing experience. It's truly been life changing. It's like a complete mindset shift. There's no replacement for being out in the field with John and with the coaches. I would 100% recommend this program. I can show you how it's done in a matter of days. Go check those out. In in the description and book an application call with me. You know, some of you guys actually need to go and take walks with the people you're on dates with. Not because it's cheap, but you actually need to spend way more time actually talking to the person that you're gonna be romantically interested in and getting to know them properly. Too many of you guys wanna go straight to the really romantic stuff and then go to fucking right afterwards. It's okay to do simple shit together too. You know what with simple shit? You can find out if you guys are actually compatible because you guys gotta sit there with nothing but each other and that's it. Yeah, exactly. The whole purpose of a date is to see how the chemistry is, to get to know each other. The, the activity that you're doing shouldn't be the big focus. Oh, he he didn't go to enough effort, blah, blah. And you don't even want to be doing like activity dates. You don't want to go rock climbing or hiking or doing some kind of activity that's going to detract from you guys focusing on talking to each other and getting to know each other. That's why coffee and drink dates work the best. You don't need to go to, to some elaborate lengths to take them to some fancy dinner, especially not on the first date. If after you guys are dating and you like the person, you guys have have good chemistry and you want to treat her to a nice time out that's fine at that point right but for first dates it's not necessary and, and it's not advised if you guys can't carry a conversation to find some ground common ground you're probably not meant to be together is one way or the other right no and i think it's okay to not like one over the other i just don't like it when people choose one and they be like hey you fucking basic bitches who would <laughs> accept that why you got to be insulting why do you got to look down as if your way's better? That's because the girls that are not okay with coffee have a fucking, you know, superiority complex, have this high horse bullshit. Oh, you better fucking, you know, bend over backwards for me, bro. I, I can drink a coffee at home, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you're a cunt. Get the fuck out. It's literally that simple. And I don't mean to be offensive to women like that in general. Just offensive to the ones that are being cunts. That's it. Honestly, when you act that arrogantly about it, it makes me think that you're probably a little hoochie mama who's in for some free meals. There it is. Yay. That's what it sound like. Wait. Now, I'm doing exactly what you're doing, so it don't sound great. But you get what I'm trying to say. So, <laughs> that's my thoughts on this whole discussion every time it comes up. <laughs> yeah. Live and let live. I don't think that there's a problem with people just on not nah. sorry. You said I don't think and I'm like I don't see anything wrong with a little bump and grind right, right away. I don't see nothing wrong. wrong. Oh and a little coffee. I don't see nothing wrong with that, but I also they see that. Got you. Sorry. No, 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 I I bro, come on now. Yeah, keep going. I understand the sentiment. Keep going, gotcha. I'm the one that, you know. Yeah, go for it. So um, I understand people that don't want to go on coffee date, and I'm for it. I'm for the fact that you don't want to go on coffee dates. I'm for the fact that you don't want to, you want to have someone spend a little bit more money on the first date and stuff like that to wow you. Keep that energy. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. If that's you, thank you. On the other hand, the person that uh, wants to go on coffee dates, that's just a red flag for you, and then you just move on because you don't want that person. It's like someone that don't want to date me. I'm not going to try to force myself to, no, but why don't you want to date me? You don't? Cool. I like who like me. Keep it moving. You know what I mean? Them not wanting that is fine. It just shows you right there and then that you're not compatible on the talking. Just, just talk. Just yeah, and that girl is probably going to have issues with all kinds of other shit too, okay? Because normally when they have a problem with something that fucking basic and fundamental and not a big deal, they're going to have problems with a whole bunch of other shit. And if you bend over backwards 
okay, to kiss their ass and be like, okay, well, uh, you know, in that case, uh, let's let's go out for a fancy meal or, or what, what would you what would you like to do, uh, princess? And then you're fucking kissing their ass, and then they're still gonna have issues with you. Oh, yeah, are you too cheap to order us appetizers? Oh, are you too che- cheap to? Build? And it's like get the fuck out of here. The, the focus is to get to know the person, see how the chemistry is. It's not a contest to see who can plan the best shit or who can spend the most money or, or any of that stuff. If they're focused on that, then their head is not in the right place. So we will wrap up there. Watch my video in the end screen for more Abba and Preach reactions. Make sure you let me know what you think about all this in the comments below if you think the girls that are rejecting coffee dates are out of control or not and why. Make sure you get on one of those calls with the link in the description if you want to solve all your dating problems permanently. Make sure you like the video to help the algorithm and subscribe to never miss a video. Thank you guys and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. I said fuck the industry and did it my way. my way I learned how to roll a weed, I didn't roller skate nah. Go in the backyard, look at the lake and I meditate All I need is one scale, a couple bells Came in this shit by myself Dolph, why you fuck this girl? Oh uh, shit, cause I'm a player Quarterback, no NFL Ay.